You want the little pen shortly, don't you? Yeah. Pen? Yep. I will get Cimarron out, who is being obstinate on her left today. This is a client now, oh, shoot, close to two years. Her name's Deb. We became yeah. close friends since then. Uh, her horse is, I gotta say, a success story. Very much so, very much. And um, this mare threw everything but the kitchen sink at me a couple <laughs> years ago. She was smart, she, she had a bad case of I don't want to. At the point, she'd be given to the bit real good for a couple of days. and. All of a sudden, she'd set up and say, no, I ain't doing it. <laughs> so, Mayor, how old was she when she first came in? Um, she was eight. I no, think this Mayor. is... Sorry, Deb. This is Debbie, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I get her when she was with Mary, which they're good friends, so we're working Mary's horse together. There so, we go. There anyway. we go. But Misty was eight, and I've been. this is my third summer right here. Yeah. And um, so she was... Um, she had not been handled for all of her life since she was little up to the time I got her. So no tying, no walking, no nothing. Yeah, this is uh, this horse is a fine example of true to horsemanship. I mean, she gets it at a tee. I don't know if right before uh, I start if you caught her jogging behind me. This horse, number one, when I first started priming the saddle, there was no hand gallop, there was no lope, all was extended trot, extended trot. This mare was super nervous. I mean, she was just tighter than a drum. And so I just would extend her out and keep extending her out and cowboy up and ride that darn extended trot. <laughs> then she finally would break into a hand gallop. And with her, and what Debbie's learned with this mare, you get more control by giving it up. That's right, yeah, it's something you wouldn't normally think of. Uh, because uh, had to go faster to get her to slow down. Yeah, with her, you can sit there and check her. You can sit there and do one rain stops all day long with this mare. But when it came time to get to the program, she's still going to do. If he was canter, and she's going to canter, do a hand gallop. There was no look dog. And now over the last couple of years, Deb's really worked on everything I showed her. She comes back for lessons about this time of year yep, for a few. Enough. <laughs> and then, then she goes back home and works on everything. And now what we're doing, this mare has got a nice little lope going, but she, she's really a, a mare that anticipates. She wants to, now she just thinks she's going to ask for a lope. So now we're going back to the extended trot. And then, and just keep extending her. And at some point, we're not allowing her lope, and it's just a hand squeeze. That's all you got to do with this mare to check her mm -hmm. if she tries going to lope. Just squeeze your and she'll come down. But what we're doing, extend her out and then have Debbie posted. But when she starts getting tired and she goes into that nice little jog, I have Deb to sit down and just sit it. Which in time with this mare is going to cue her when Deb sits down, she's going to go in that nice little jog. Now if right. Deb wants to extend a trot, she can extend trot. And right here, last of our session today, we went from that. We right. went where we, if you post, she extended it out. If you mm -hmm. sit down, she just did that nice little slow jog. Yep, that's right. And in a lot of training, you know, everybody wants to be control, control, control. And <laughs> me, I want to control their feet too. But on some of the stuff, you get more control by giving it up. I ride on a loose rein, and on this mare, it's hard to. It's hard that, to do. That inside wants to say, grab her, grab her, <laughs> because she's a very... I love to got hold of this mare when she was a two-year-old or even a three-year-old because she's an athletic mare and if somebody wanted a top rainer, she could do it. But this is going to be one of my shortest videos, I think. So, uh, 
you know, I really appreciate Deb giving this mare a chance. And this is epitome of true to horse horsemanship. And it's all, everything I've done with this mare is in my book. And it's all on these videos that we got on here. Now I'm, I think I'm up to 107. And probably today, this will be my 108. And probably I want to do one more this afternoon if I can, so I'll make 109. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of these horses, there, there's not, people want to give up. That's like the one horse I got. The gray Arab that is quote untrainable. Last week we did our first walk off with me on top of her, and I might film that today, see how the day goes. But anyway, as I always say, be true to the horse, they'll be true to you, be true to yourself, and God bless. Thanks. Talk to you later. Thank you. Right, see?